I've just taken this. It's the, 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 the electronics for a six cylinder. But don't Damn. mind, that is not important. Connected to one, two, three tune. Oh, four cylinder. The, the new software tells you version 1.3, four cylinder. Because it may happen that we put the wrong board in, a, in an ignition and then you even don't, you don't know that it doesn't work because there is a six cylinder mm -hmm. magnetic disc and the software for a four cylinder is in. So that's, that is to indicate this. Okay, now I've, I've taken this, it's for Citroen DS. Let's uh, have a look. Let's take this one, curve number seven for instance. Uh, this is all difficult, but what the European manufacturers do mm -hmm. is they have the uh, speed, not of the, of the um, crankshaft, mm -hmm. oh. but the speed of the camshaft. Mm -hmm. And this is not the advanced mm -hmm. crankshaft, but the advanced camshaft. So you have to double this and this. Do you understand what I'm, what I'm saying? Yeah, I understand. Okay, so if, if we now look at the settings and we want to have this curve, for instance, I could say, okay, um, just to get it going, uh, I take an example to start with. Import. Right. Now I know it is it, the advance starts at not at 500 but at 1000 RPM because this is camshaft and I want to convert it to uh, crankshaft. We are always working in crankshaft advance. So uh, it, this is the same here. And now I could delete this point. Point of kiss. Delete this point. Point of kiss. Delete this one. And I have to, well, it's very simple. Simple not saying most. Let's say, where, where does this end? This ends at 5000 RPM. So now I could select this point, for instance, and say, okay, 5000. This only works with the latest software. Uh, version 1.6.4. That's on the internet side now, on our side. And the advance is, well, not 10 degrees, but say, well, it is 9.5 mm -hmm. times 2, times 2, because yeah. the, 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 the camshaft, camshaft is, well, the speed is, yeah. uh, uh, is uh, half the half speed the of the crankshaft. crankshaft. So the advance is also mm -hmm. half the advance of the crankshaft. Ah, so I have to double that here. Mm -hmm. It's uh, uh, twice nine and a half is uh, 80, 19 degrees in total. Mm -hmm. So I uh, select this point and say, okay. Nineteen degrees. Remove this one, and this one also back to nineteen degrees. That's it. Mm. Now you have this advanced curve in the one, two, three ignition. Okay, you have to store it, of course. Store. No one heard. Now it's over there. Mm. So for if I now. Unplug。Okay, this uh, Citroen DS did not have vacuum advance. So what you could do is okay, uh, get it all out. バキュームのセンサーでオリジナルはついてへんねんけどああつけることが可能今消してるうん
消すことによって全く同じオリジナルのセッティングになると。So this, this is the easiest way to remove the vacuum advance. Store? だから実習はあの車でやるから今オリジナルの線を今出してる。Ah. Okay, and now you can still uh, uh, assume you want to tune the car. Maybe you want to add vacuum advance. You can do that after market. But sometimes the vacuum connector was on the carburetor. And if there is no vacuum connector there, then you have to put it in the manifold. Below the carburetor. So what, what, what you could do is, okay, I connect the, uh, the vacuum sensor of the 1-2-3 tune mm -hmm. directly to the manifold, mm -hmm. but you, want, you don't want it to be active at idle. Mm -hmm. Here you can say, only above 1500 RPM, mm -hmm. the vacuum advance comes into action. Mm -hmm. Um, setting so if, if we do that, uh, let's say, uh, I, I, well, I'm not sure. But what, what you see very often is something like this. <coughs> 10 degrees. That's that's more or less what you see. The uh, the, the the more uh, the power you want from the engine, the deeper you press the uh, throttle, oh. mm -hmm. and the deeper you press the throttle, the less vacuum. Mm -hmm. Vacuum will not go out. Yes. So if there's no vacuum, you simply get this mm -hmm. advance. Mm -hmm. If you driving in part part load, mm -hmm. then you. Are going to get more advance mm -hmm. than at full load. Mm -hmm. So these two are added together. Mm -hmm. So if you look, I will let me store it here. If you look at the dashboard, the advance you see here is the total of this and this. Mm -hmm. and yeah? yeah? Now, Now you have a, someone with a turbo, for example. Ah, turbo no toki wa. Then you don't have, you, with, with ordinary cars, you only have uh, one atmosphere, one bar, mm -hmm. until, well, say, uh, 0.7 mm -hmm. of a bar negative. Mm -hmm. But with a turbo, you have uh, a pressure in the manifold above one bar. Mm -hmm. Now, if you are going to get above one bar, then you could say, okay, and that's what you regularly see, insert one point, um, get this to zero, and get this all the way down here. Now, what happens? If you, if you uh, ask for energy, the turbo comes into action there's a, a lot of pressure air pressure in the in the manifold mm -hmm. and now the more pressure you have mm -hmm. the less advance you get yeah. so what I said uh, uh, um, a minute ago if you look at the dashboard what you see here is the total mm -hmm. of the centrifugal advance this one mm -hmm. and the vacuum advance mm -hmm. but Don't forget, if you if you are using this, mm -hmm. here it says minus 20 yeah. degrees. Mm -hmm. So it may very well be that this one has a maximum of 19 degrees, mm -hmm. but if you have a lot of pressure below the mm -hmm. b below the in the manifold, mm -hmm. you get the total of 19 mi minus say 19 yeah. is zero. Zero. Mm -hmm. Not many people are using this. Mm -hmm. But it was just uh, some extra software for us to put it in. Yeah. There are not many classic cars with, uh, with a turbo. Mm -hmm. And with this, it is now 
quite easy to say okay I want to be that the vacuum is always active for instance you could put that into uh, on zero oh. mm. Mm. Zero mm. Zero so then it works always mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay uh, now <clears throat> I will store it 